Hi everyone, welcome back to science. I'm Miss Catherine, your guide for the Matter and Energy and Ecosystems Unit. Let's get started. Today we will be working in lesson 1.5 called Photosynthesis in Ecosystems. Take a moment to gather the materials that you will need today. Remembering that it's helpful to have in front of you, along with your new paper for today, all of your other ideas from the past few lessons. If you are following along, here is your click path for Amplify Online. And here is how I would like you to set up that piece of paper in front of you. Pause the video and take a moment to do that. In our Matter and Energy and Ecosystems unit, we've been focused on this unit question of why did the Econauts biodome ecosystem collapse? Remember this term ecosystem refers to all of the living and the non-living things in an area. And then a biodome is just a human made ecosystem. And remember that the Econauts noticed after a few years that the plants and the animals living in this biodome didn't seem to be growing and reproducing the way they should and didn't have enough of those energy storage molecules that they needed. So our mission in this unit is to not only figure out why the biodome ecosystem collapsed, but to tell the Econauts how to build a better one and to learn from their mistakes and move forward here in a new, bigger and better biodome. So in chapter one, we've been investigating why didn't the plants and the animals in the biodome have enough of those energy storing molecules? Take a moment and remind yourself, why are these energy storage molecules important in an ecosystem? Perfect, that's right. These energy storage molecules are the things that give our plants and our animals what they need to survive. We're gonna start off today with some warm up thinking. And if you are following along online, remember at the top of your screen is our lesson and our activity number. And if I move right over to my Amplify screen, activity one, the warm up, it's right here. And I will see the questions that I'm asking you to respond to. So take a moment and please pause the video and think about these three questions. Based on what you've learned so far, why do you think the plants and the animals in the biodome didn't have enough energy storage molecules? Why do you think this claim is correct or makes sense? And how has your thinking changed since the beginning of the unit? As I was thinking about these three questions, I remember that energy storage molecules come from this process of photosynthesis. And perhaps if the animals and the plants in the biodome didn't have enough of these things, that maybe it means that there was something happening with that process of photosynthesis, because that's how they're made after all. 